Hey, Risky Francis, I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. Kara, what do we have today? Today we have Dragon's Milk Origin Small Batch Bourbon. Mm. This is a toasted barrel and it's a single barrel picked by ooh, Breaking Bourbon and Sealbach. Yeah. That's cool. Cool. It comes in at 125.9 proof or 62.7%. Thank you, you know, for doing the math, because I was like... I didn't do the math. I just I read the work. I just read the label. It is... That's high. Five years old. Okay. And it's finished in cool. toasted barrels. This is a toasted product. Did I yeah. know this? I just said it, actually. We, I like that it's got, like, scales. Dragon, dragon I was going to say feathers, but they don't have feathers. And the, I've never met a dragon, but I'm they pretty have sure... skin feathers. Sure. That makes sense. That's what it is. I've never met a dragon. They don't have them at the zoo here because... <laughs> they do not. Not sure why. This is their own distillate. Yes. Distilled aged and bottled by the New Holland Brewing Company. Yes. We, yes. I don't think we have... Do we have any New Holland beer out here? We do. We have plenty of it. We tried it in the big tall can. Yeah. The big boy. And you thought it was too sweet. And oh. I just was happy. I had a whole big boy to myself. That makes sense. Yeah. So I yep. hear that they do some really cool... Um, beer as well so that makes sense so they're really good brewers cool. there's like a little dragon on the front that you really can't see it's like slightly semi-embossed yes yeah yes. cool mm -hmm. I like dragons so i think we Cute. should probably smell it though let's get into it that's, that's weird uh -huh. like uh, weird as in unusual not weird as in gross we're like queen of weirds here so we do like weird whiskey that sometimes that's a compliment mm -hmm. okay i'm uh, getting toasted coconut yeah, there's that on that. Okay, so you know when you get like some some of the craft distillers, and I don't mean to say this because they kind of, I guess, they, are. Yeah, I'm just um, so. Like Journeyman. They have that distinct oh. toasted wood oak note. Yep. I'm getting that on the nose. I'm getting that as well. No, I don't know what the size of the barrel is, if it's the smaller one, maybe, sure. or if it's just the toasted. It could just be the toasted. The toasted. I think this smells like a beautiful dessert, touch of wood, mm. coconutty, a little bit caramely. Yeah. I understand your reference to, like, a craft. It's not... That crafty note could be the toasted note. It's, it's the hard wood to, part. It's, it's the woody That's part. That's it. It's hard to determine. But you know what I think we should do? It smells pleasant. I think we should drink it. Oh, that's the best idea you've had all day. Sure. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> what happened from the nose to the palate? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that I'm laughing because I was like, ooh, it is so deep caramel. And then when you hit, yep, when you hit the mint palette, it's like. It's still there. It's still there. It goes. Arr! Does it taste like. I ended up in a cul-de-sac and I don't it, know what it is. It tastes to like guava. Yep. It tastes like. Grapefruity. There was this right. weird. Yeah, you know, not the flavor of grapefruit, but the like sensation. A, a the a sensation. Sweet, sweet grapefruit. Not like Ruby bit, red. Yeah. Ruby mm -hmm. red there, it has like this weird sensation sometimes. And I think, I, I, I don't know what that is, but so guava, ruby red grapefruit, and then when you're just chilling on the finish. It's like a little bit of peach. I get peaches in my mouth. I get baked peaches. Like I just ate a cobbler yep. on with top the, of With the breading a, a and wood. everything. That's what it reminds me of. It tastes like a Bro. guava tropical fruit pastry so that's, on the mid palate. On the mid palate is like the guava slight ruby red grapefruit. And almost like a, for a little bit before it transitioned to, to peaches for me, it's almost overripe mango. And then it goes to the peach. Like mushy mango. Now there's just, on the finish, is just peach and like toasted I, oak with a little bit of bread. Mm -mm. So, nose? <laughs> Let's go back to the back. Okay, I know I didn't pay attention in school, but this is so confusing to me. Okay. Like. Like, I'm lost. Like, where is this world? To have this nose. It is so surprising. <laughs> like, the, mid, the, the the approach is totally typical. Beautiful caramel, yeah. almost a little toasty oak starts to show. And then it's like, mm. ah, tropical Wait, fruit. It's a toasted oak that you would get maybe from the smaller barrel size oak that I'm getting on the nose. Oh, I don't know. But maybe. I, I don't think they use smaller barrels. Mm -hmm. I, it doesn't taste like it on the palate mm -mm. at all. Mm -mm. But... But the nose, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. And then the palate just goes like, I'm going on vacation to some tropical island. Okay, so sometimes it's fun to nose a bourbon and pick out nodes. Mm -hmm. And the palate presents itself exactly the way you expect. Right down the middle plate of what you, you smell. 
No. This this bourbon is, wow. it just gives you hints of what the pellet's going to be like. And when you mm. finally taste it and it takes you on this tropical fruit roller coaster. What did they do? <laughs> I don't think I've ever, ever had a bourbon that was so... Mm. So unique and tropical in the mint palette that just literally blew my mind. I'm like, I, I don't know what's going on. I think it's the dragon that did it. <clears throat> oh. It's the spirit of the dragon. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's the it's spirit just, of the dragon. It, and it doesn't drink that high proof. The 62.7, oh. it doesn't. Mm. Oh, dear. This is a... This is a bottle where you get in trouble and you call your mama from your free phone call, if you know what I'm saying. Yes, I do. No, I don't. What? God. So I don't know what else to say about this besides how unexpected that fruit mid palette is mm -hmm. and how just how lovely this bourbon is. I don't... Do we know the mash bill? Nope. It's not on here. No. I'll have to look it up, but... I, I, I was too afraid because it's associated with... Um, the, what are these people called? I forget. New Holland? Breaking Bourbon. Oh, Breaking and Bourbon. And Silbox. They, they tend, they they tend a good info. too much information. And so I was too afraid to... I didn't... Okay. So we'll look it up. And if we can She'll find put any it. more information, we'll put it on the screen for the screen. you. Just because I find this is fascinating. Do I know where mm. the guava components come from? No. No. But I'm here for it. I think it's just... It is guava. Straight up guava. Yeah. But yeah. not funky guava. Oh, I don't like musky guava. That's no. just weird. It's That's not, why this is going to be my guove. My guove. guove. My guove, too. This is her guove. This is going to be my... Love that word. I don't... <laughs> I don't know where this yeah. is coming from. This is going to be my go-to when I want a tropical... Tropical? A tropical sensation. I Tropicali. Maybe the 62.5 is making an influence because my words are really hard right now. <laughs> They're hard anyway. Oh, okay. So have you guys had, I'm, I don't know, I sound super excited and they think it's alcohol. Have you guys had the Dragon Milk Origin Small Batch Bourbon, this specifically toasted single barrel, and what mm -hmm. did you guys find in it? Please give us a, a, some of your comments, a tasty notes below. Did you get guava? Did you get tropical peaches in a cobbler? It's like peaches on the finish. It's it's weird. It's unreal. But I'm here for I'm it. I'm here for it as well. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. If you like what we're doing okay. with our channel, please subscribe. You just turn yeah. on your notifications. And you can join us when the next video drops. To, I, okay, I, I know they have a regular Origin series. Is it the same bottle with the little skin feathers? Yes. Hmm. It's just the contents are different. I have no idea. I I don't know. I'm just intrigued. I'm intrigued. It's okay. It's a wonderful presentation. It's beautiful. With uh, an inkjet printer, it kind of looks like, but I don't care. I'm here for the fruit. I'm here for it. Well, I don't know about you, hmm. but I, I fancy this whiskey. I fancy this whiskey that's making me contemplate, contemplate life. It's confusing, and um, I love it. I'm so confused. I love it. But I'm here for it. Cheers.